Hello, everyone. It's an honor to attend this conference. My name is Jia Ru, and my supervisor is Professor Wen Jianguo. I come from the first affiliated hospital of Qingxiang Medical University, Henan Province, China. My subject is prevalence of eruptive bladder in boys and its effects on psychology. Now, I will elaborate my research topic from the following five aspects. Aims of study To investigate the risk factors of OEB in Chinese boys and to evaluate the psychobehavioral standards of OEB persons. The following are my theories and methods. A total of 3,000 boys aged 6 to 15 years from five primary schools and junior high school in Henan were involved in this study. The information was collected by anonymous questionnaire and physical examination by urologists. The following three tables record the collection and preservation of our research data. At the same time, the questionnaire to collect the following information 1. Gender, date of birth, inhabitation 2. Lower urinary systems 3. Overlapped bladder scale 4. Pediatric sleep questionnaire 5. Trace and difficult questionnaire the physical examination includes items such as pharmacies, redundant pupils, consult penis. We analyze the relationship between the prevalence of OEB and relevant factors in 2,333 boys and showed that the prevalence of OEB was related to BMI, nocturnal in says history of UTI, constipation, Prolonged the usage of diapers, pharmacies, resistant pupils, cancelled penis. There was no statistically significant difference of their resistance. Next, multivariate analysis of the influencing factors for the prevalence of OEB in boys. NE, UTI, constipation. Prolong the usage of diapers and compete with the famous resident pupils and consult penis were risk factors for OEB in boys, while BMI was not a risk factor. Next, we use the U test to analyze whether OEB boys affect sleep and psychological behavior. It's not hard to see from the table 3 and table 4 that the difficult problem scores in OAB group was higher than that in the normal group, and the difference was statistically significant. Children's sleep questionnaire scores showed that the sleep scores of OAB group were significantly higher than that of normal group. Next, the significant relationship between OAB and BMI, NE, constipation, and the prolonged usage of diapers in boys was consistent with other reports. There is no literature report on the prevalence of OAB in boys with pharmacies, redundant pupils, and cancer penis. Pharmacies and resident pupils are more likely to be complicated by urinary tract infection and therefore more easy to induce OAB. However, the mechanism of OAB induced by these risk factors need to be further studied in the future. The difficulty score of boys with OEB was higher than that of normal children, indicating that OEB affects the psychological behavior of patients. Similarly, the sleep score of boys with OEB was higher than that of normal boy, suggesting that the sleep quality of boy with OEB was affected. From what has been disappeared above, we come to the conclusion that OEB in boys is common and affects mental health and sleep quality. Meanwhile, NE, UTI, cost 
anticipation prolong the usage of diapers, combined with pharmacies, redundant pupils, and cancer penis are the risk factors of OAB. That's all for my speech. Thank you for your attention.